Mr. Adam, it's nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, man, nice to meet you too. And, and uh, using, utilizing our gallery space here with the Watauga Arts Council. Yeah, I'm um, excited. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Mr. Adam, what's your, what's your full name? Uh, Adam Khan, K-A-H-N. Well, it's so great to meet you. Uh, yeah. Everybody out there, I'm J.C. Belfi, intern with the Watauga Arts Council, just so you know. And um, so we're going to ask you a couple questions just so that we have the viewers here and the people who come inside know uh, a little bit about who is uh, who made all this work here, yeah. Mr. Khan. Great. So, um, Mr. Adam, uh, how long have you been an artist? Oh, man. Um, I mean, I'm going to say my whole life because I've always been involved in music, uh, martial arts, and obviously painting. Um, specifically when it comes to painting, I mean, I'm going to say maybe I, I started 15, 20 years ago. I mean, I did paintings as a kid. Um, I'm going to say I really started getting serious and like passionate and like obsessive about it maybe like seven years ago. And uh, so uh, what was that turning point so about seven years ago for you? What, what, what was that specifically that you remember? So early on in my life, like starting in high school, I was very passionate and very serious into music. Um, at some point in my life, I started, it would be like for a few months, I'd play nothing but music. And then a few months, I would focus on painting. So it was kind of a constant fluctuation. Seven years ago, what happened? I don't know, really. I just suddenly started getting extremely passionate about painting. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure I, yeah. a lot of people relate to that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so then, uh, how long have you had any formal training, like in your high school years or, or any time before? Um, I mean, I never went to college for art. If we're going back to high school, I definitely took an art class or two. But essentially, I consider myself self-taught in terms of like a, an education on art, art history. I would definitely say it was triggered off by my mom teaching me and kind of giving me books. Look at this. Look at that. As a kid, I grew up always watching her in her studio doing an, uh, millions of different kinds of art. So that definitely educated me. Reading books, going to galleries, going to museums, meeting other artists, that, I consider that my education. And then obviously my own experience in my own process. It sounds like it sounds like to me that your mom really sort of started it off and gave you, gave you that, that, that great base to... Uh, to, to build upon, especially since she had her own studio. Um, yeah, and yeah. so the, the, that kind of leads to our next question. So like, where do you find your biggest inspiration now um, in, uh, in, in presently? Uh, my number one source of, informa of information of inspiration is definitely my own imagination, my own experiences and my own emotions. But I find inspiration from other artists, other people, um, I mean, graffiti on walls, you know, whatever cracks in the street that just look cool or look interesting to me. Um, yeah, I try to keep myself open to any and all inspiration. I know that's a very vague answer, but I generally just get inspiration from everything and how it affects me. And then it comes out in my art. Absolutely. Yeah. It sounds like you have a, a reactionary yeah. element to your pieces. That's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's definitely something that I, I, I agree with and uh, understand on a, on a personal level. Um, so, so you said that you um, are inspired by a lot of stuff and does that, does that contribute to um, like, how does it help you in when you're creating your pieces? Uh, does, does, do you think about um, the, your mentality at all when you're making your pieces or do you strictly think about how you're going to accomplish it using the materials it's all based on i guess my mentality i don't usually have a goal in mind like i want the painting to look like this or look like that my intention in my paintings comes out my focus on the finished product occurs as i'm nearing the end of the painting but my process i definitely consider it a very cathartic and a very expressive process definitely spontaneous i definitely improvise uh, very abstract expressionistic i guess i'm trying to bring whatever's inside of me out onto canvas yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. and so do you do you, you do you currently have your own studio in the area um i guess in my house in the laundry room i have i have you know a, a good little space where i could set up and paint um so i'll call that my studio i used to have a, like a real spacious studio um, but right now it's it's in my home 
That's pretty cool. I, uh, yeah. I totally agree with that. I mean, the first place I started making music was in my dad's attic. And yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get that. Um, yeah. So, uh, so how long have you been in the Boone, in the Boone area? And what brought you here? I've been in Boone since 2000, 2001 ish. Um, what brought, what brought me to Boone was to go to grad school, um, for clinical mental health. What kept me in Boone was taking Kung Fu classes up the road at Blue Ridge Kung Fu. And then what's really kept me here is I met my wife and I have a family and my mom's here and I love Boone really is what keeping me in Boone is the fact that I love Boone. And so tell me a little bit about your recent works. Recent works. Um, well, most of the paintings in this show are definitely some of the more recent ones. There's a few that go back a few years. And when the whole pandemic started, you know, I have this COVID series of paintings. It's probably about eight or nine paintings. There's about three or four here. For whatever reason, early on in the pandemic, I got very interested in Mark Rothko um, with his color field paintings. I've always been fascinated with Rothko's paintings, but for some reason at the beginning of the pandemic, I wanted to, I guess, figure out his process or figure out my own process within his way of, his style of painting. So that's what the, the I'll call it the COVID series. It, it's essentially color field paintings. I don't, I really don't know what suddenly got me wanting to, to do Rothko-like paintings. I just, I work with oils, I work with wax, spray paint, enamel paint. Um, I've done a bunch of poured paintings. I like experimenting. I, I, I'm a big experimenter when I do stuff. Um, it's for me, it's more about the paint than it is about the painting, if that makes sense. Thank you so much for interviewing with us today, Adam, and we'll see you. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely make sure everybody comes in soon enough. Yeah, yeah man, thank you. Thank you very much.